Let's learn how to attract winter birds by offering water. By supplying dishes of water in the fall and winter, I've attracted more birds than with feeders alone. Every November through April, I report the birds coming to my yard for Project Feeder Watch, a citizen science project that monitors bird populations attracted to people's yards. I supply food in the form of cracked corn, black oil sunflower seeds, white millet, as well as suet and dried mealworms to attract a wide variety of birds. But some birds only come for water, which I provide in three different places. I have one dish by a hydrant that I fill every morning. There are trees above the water giving the birds protected access. Another dish is located out in the open for birds that don't like cover. The third dish is located near a brush pile for birds that like to escape to cover. Two of the dishes are glazed ceramic bird baths that are 17 and a half inches in diameter. The other dish is an eight quart black rubber feed pan filled with rocks. It is 14 inches in diameter. An electric heater can be added to the dishes when temperatures stay below freezing. To determine the birds coming to the water, I set up a game camera to record video at one of the water dishes. The game camera that I'm using is a Bushnell and it captures images or video. The camera is mounted on my homemade stand and is pointed at the water dish. Let's look at all the birds that were attracted to the water in early December at my Sanborn County, South Dakota yard. On the right are two pine siskins, but along comes a dark-eyed junco and they leave. A white-breasted nuthatch joins four pine siskins. A male red-bellied woodpecker shares the water with a goldfinch and a male purple finch. Two European starlings show up to get a drink. Even a fox squirrel comes to quench its thirst. A male house sparrow retreats when a blue jay arrives. A male red-bellied woodpecker shares the water with pine siskins and a male and female purple finch. A Harris's sparrow on the right and an American tree sparrow on the left are joined by pine siskins while a downy woodpecker and an American goldfinch wait their turn. A red-breasted nuthatch stops for a quick drink followed by a pine siskin. Two blue jays gather for a drink. An American robin along with pine siskins, house sparrows, and American goldfinches are joined by an adult white crowned sparrow. An immature white crowned sparrow joins an American tree sparrow. This mix of birds includes purple finches, house sparrows, pine siskins, and a single house finch. I just love this gathering of four blue jays. What a sight! This male red winged blackbird is joined by a group of pine siskins. The adult white crowned sparrow shares the water with purple finches, American goldfinches, pine siskins, and a male house sparrow. Check out the downy woodpecker on the hydrant pipe while a black capped chickadee and a male purple finch get a drink. These immature male red winged blackbirds decide to take a bath as the blue jay looks on. Let's finish up with a blue jay taking a bath. Providing water for birds is a great way to attract them, especially during winter when water is difficult to find. Be sure to provide water in various locations as different birds prefer different habitats. Look in the video description for links to all items used in the video as well as a link to Project Feeder Watch. Hi, it's Jeff with Backyard Birds. If you like this video and want to see more like it, you may want to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red subscribe button below the video. To be notified of new videos, be sure to click the bell widget next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the Backyard Birds channel.